Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Great House. Today's video is a haul video and I'm going to be sharing the things that I purchased recently from the Dollar Tree, from Hobby Lobby, a couple thrift stores, and a bookstore. I didn't have a particular way that I was going to go about this, so I figured I will just pick up the items that I have and we'll just talk about them as we go. So. First up is this gold wire basket. This is from the Dollar Tree, and this is, like I said, a recent purchase. So all of the items that I'm gonna be showing you today, I have purchased within the last two weeks. So this basket is for a project that I have in mind. I saw the Crafty Couple use this to make a light fixture, and I had never seen it in my Dollar Tree, and I was like, yes! So I picked it up, and I also picked up these two candle holders. I had seen them a while back, Hadn't seen them for a while, and then I saw them, so of course I snagged them because I thought I could do something with them. So I bought those two things. I follow Crafting with Maria on here. She's another DIYer. Hey, Maria. Hey, girl. And she had made this cute little thing out of two of these laundry signs. So I saw them at my Dollar Tree, so I picked them up. And she also used a couple of these um, crates, containers, whatever. So I picked those up as well. But... I picked up a few more because I wanted to make sure that I got the ones with the um, regular hole, not the star or the heart or anything, or because some of them kind of go up like that. So I picked up a couple more of those and I picked up, I don't know, like six of these wood cube block things. Y'all, these are hard to find. I picked these up because I primarily wanted the little holder thing down here, this little thing, because I'm using it for another project but also these are nice flat frames and they're wood, so that way I can spray paint them or paint them and use them for other projects as well. So this was a really good find. And they have these house shaped picture frames as well. And I'm like, mm -hmm, yes, I like this. So I picked up as many as they had, I think I have five. So I picked up all five and uh, I haven't seen them at my Dollar Tree since. So that was a good find. I picked these up in Portland and I have, I think, eight or nine of them. And I picked up the ones with the house on them and then I think I picked up a couple with a heart on them. This one says, bless our house. I'm not gonna keep the heart on it. I'm taking the heart, the little house off. Figured I could use that for another craft. And I'm gonna use this, it's like a accordion bent tin. So I'm gonna use that for another project that I saw someone else do. I can't remember the project, but when I make the project, I'll be sure and put it in the description box below who I'm kind of getting inspo from, but I was really excited to find these. So I also found these, and I found these in Dallas, I think, but anyway, black and white, and they have a cute little like bow on top, and they're plain, and they've got the little, little doohickey there that you put the photo in, and so I just thought this is going to be super cute. I have no idea what I'm going to make with them, but I've got... I've got several to choose from. Oh, it also comes in like a natural wood color. So you've got white, you've got this natural wood color, and then you have black as well. I just picked up what they had, and I have one, two blacks, three whites, and then one natural color. So I'll probably end up painting them anyway, but still. Anyway, if you see them, snag them. From Hobby Lobby. I just got a Cricut. That video is going to be coming soon as well. If it hasn't already out. Anyway, um, I bought some vinyl because it's 50% off. And I bought some Baker's Twine because I have a couple projects in mind. I bought some ribbon, the black with the white polka dots. Buffalo check. And I bought this. I didn't, I'd never seen it before. It's like wire um, leaves. And it kind of reminds me of, what, of something I had for another project that a friend had given me. So I was like, mm, okay. I'm also doing some... I'm doing the collaboration and I need needed yellow paint for my project and I also got these cute little um, rolling pins <laughs> what they were called I found this sign in Portland and I don't know if my local Dollar Tree has it yet or not but um, it's just weird how some stores have stuff some stores don't whatever but anyway I picked it up I'm not really going to use it for the this part of the sign I'm probably going to you know, disassemble it and use it for, because it looks like the shape of a tag. And I thought that would be cute. Although I don't have a project in mind, I thought it would be cute. At a Goodwill in Portland, I found this piece of wood um, that spells out family. 
and it was $1.99, but it was 50% off. So I got it for 99 cents. In a Dollar Tree in Portland, um, I went to several. I didn't visit them all, but I tried. <laughs> so I found this cute little sign. Again, it looks like a tag, so that's kind of what was attracting me to it because I don't really need the welcome, here's the Wi-Fi stuff, but I uh, figured I could use it for something else. I saw another DIYer do this in there. They had this in their haul, and I was like, that's cute, but my Dollar Trees don't have them, or didn't, don't have them yet, didn't have them. Anyway, I saw it, I bought it, and it was only a dollar. Mine says Farm Sweet Farm. It has a chicken, a pig, and a cow on it, so I was like, yes, scored on that one. And hi, Supervisor Captain. I, come on, brother, lay down. <sighs> Go. Go, thank you. I popped into a vintage bookstore because, if you didn't know, I collect Nancy Drew books. I collect the, not the bright, shiny yellow cover, but the matte yellow color, and I'm looking for number 20. So if you got it, you can send it to me, and I'd be happy. I would love it. I would love it. But anyway, I also collect the blue vintage ones, and I don't have a complete set or even near a complete set of these, but um, yeah, I like these too. So I picked this up. I think it was like three or four bucks. It was also at a Goodwill near my son and daughter-in-law's house, and I collect teacups, but only, I don't, I'm not like trying to collect a big collection. I just collect them so that when the grandkids and my nieces and nephews come over, they have like fancy, fancy little things to drink their drink out of. And yes, I let them use it, and if they break it, it's okay. But this one was 50% off. It was $4.99, so for $2.50, for my nieces and nephews and my grandkids to feel a little fancy, I think it's worth it. Dollar Tree has their summer items out, as you probably have seen, and so I picked up this pineapple coaster set. I don't know if I'm gonna use them for coasters, probably not, but I'll, I'll, I'll think of another project for these. But I like pineapple and they're cute, so there you go. I also found this embroidery thread that is um, one, two, three, four, five colors, and it was only a dollar. So I'm like, wow, I don't embroider a lot, but you know, I might have a project or two that I could use this thread for. Last bag, I bought several of these. My husband has um, this bucket of screws and nails and stuff, and I thought we could sort them a little bit better by using one of these. And this is actually a really large one. They have the smaller ones, but look, this is really big size for a dollar. So I got a couple of those, three of those to be exact. And I got some of this tissue paper because it has like the, the eucalyptus on it and plants on it. And I thought that would be really pretty if I wanted to decoupage something. Um, I thought that would be really pretty. So I got that. And last but not least, I got some tools for my Cricut because they were only a dollar and I figured I could use those to weed out the extra vinyl. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's haul video. I really enjoyed sharing with you guys the things that I purchased from Dollar Tree, from Hobby Lobby, from the vintage stores, from the bookstore. So I can't wait to show you all the things that I'm gonna be creating with those. So stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.